this afternoon sent a letter uh, to the president uh, expressing concern about the increased militarization and lack of clarity uh, that may increase chaos. I, I'm writing to request a full list of the agencies involved in clarifications of the roles and responsibilities of the troops and federal law enforcement resources operating in the city. Then our nation's capital, pe peaceful protesters are confronted with the deployment of a variety, various uh, security officers with multiple from multiple jurisdictions, including, and this is important, unidentified federal law enforcement. Further in the letter, I say, to make matters worse, some officers have refused to provide information and have been deployed without identifying insignia, badges, or nameplates. The practice of officers operating with full anonymity undermines accountability and not, and ignites, ignites government distrust and suspicion and is counter to the principle of procedural justice and legitimacy during this precarious moment in our history. One of the things I'm going to ask the chairman of the uh, Armed Services Committee to do is to enable the mayor of Washington to be able to call up the D.C. National Guard. Uh, and, and that's why we're asking, well, but what authority is the president sending people from these other states into D.C.? Who do they report to? Do they report to their governors? Is there a chain of command here? But I think but what they did on the steps of, of the Lincoln Memorial was so stunning. That's why the word militarization is in my letter.